Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to use Widget Smith to create some awesome custom iOS 14 widgets. If you're as excited as me for the brand new iOS 14 update and especially iOS 14 widgets, make sure you smash like on this video right now, let's try and hit 500 likes. And also if you are new around here and you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Make sure you uh, subscribe with the bell icon enabled because you do not want to miss my iOS 14 coverage. I will literally be covering everything iOS 14 related. So first of all, you can see right here, this is a custom home screen setup, not using Widget Smith. If you want to see how to do this, um, check out Saunders Tech on YouTube, just search him up, and then you should see a tutorial on how to do exactly this. If you don't see it, just give it a couple of hours. So first of all, we just need to install Widget Smith. It'll be in the description down below. We'll tap on open, and you'll be brought to this homepage right here. So we have small widget, medium widget, and large widget. So a small widget is a one by one like this. A medium widget is a 4x1 and a large widget is a 4x4 four four widget. So um, consider which widget you want to choose and then we can get to work. So I'm going to choose the small widget. So I'll just tap on this one and you see default widget and you see timed widget. I'll talk about time widget in just a minute, but let's um, get started with the default widget. So we're going to here and now we can choose a bunch of widget types, preferences, all of that good stuff. So um, I'm going to choose the um hmm, let's have a look i'm going to choose the month right here so i'll just tap on month now some of this stuff is locked behind the paywall so the weather you do need to pay for currently and i mean this is like ransomous the amount they're charging um so just uh, keep that in mind so just make sure you choose anything which doesn't have a lock behind it and then once we uh, choose the star right here we'll go to font and we can change the font to whatever we want so it's very hard to tell but the font of the text and the numbers does change um, to whatever you want right here. So we'll choose a New York. And then the tint color. We just tap on this one. And then we could choose the color. So I'm going to choose red. Because I think that will look uh, pretty darn cool. But there are a bunch of other color options you can switch between. And then we have the background color right here. We can choose like black or whatever. And then if we scroll down, you have all these other options. In fact, you know, I'm going to choose the cyan. That looks pretty darn cool. Once you're done with your widget, just tap on back. And then tap on save and now your widget has been created now let's talk about the timed widget essentially um, you can have it so that some parts of the day you will have um, widget x other parts you have widget y so we'll tap on add the timed widget now let's see how they uh, fixed the issue no they haven't so currently there's a bug with a uh, widget smith where if you create a time widget there is no way to actually remove it which um, makes no sense so if in the future you're watching this video and there's an update available to remove the widget you should just um collapse the um the times next to each other so move the nine to the eight and that should remove it but currently it doesn't because that is a, a bug it should be fixed in the uh, near future so you can see right here we have a clock this shows the time when the widget is going to turn on so this um line right here shows when the time widget will show up any other time throughout the day um, you can see on this clock will be the default widget so uh, between 8 and 9 a.m. we're going to see uh, this widget right here and then every other else will see the calendar widget if you want to change this custom widget just tap on it and then you can change the preferences and um, so uh, there we go i've just actually deleted the time widget with another method um so that's a pretty darn cool um so we'll just tap on the save and so we have this widget right here remember this will only work with a small widget so just uh, keep that in mind if you're planning on creating a larger widget you have to recreate this one but for the larger size of the bottom so we'll go to the home page, long press on any app icon, tap on edit home screen, tap on plus, and then we want to find widget smith for the bomb. Tap on it, tap on add widget, and boom, you can see right here, widget smith has been added onto the home screen. Now, you can move this around by just like dragging it, right? So you just like, you see right here, I mean, I don't know really how to explain it, like long press for a bit, then just move around, right? And then you should be able to move the widget. And um, you can move whatever you want. So I think it looks pretty darn cool. You can see it looks just like this. You can make a ton of uh, styles. Now do keep in mind, um, when you tap on the widget, it's just going to open up the Widget Smith app. There is like no opening calendar, no opening like clock or Spotify. Hopefully they add that in the future. But until then, that's how to create awesome widgets with a Widget Smith. Smash like. Bye bye.